the best thing about the Girls from Ames book um, for me has been the reaction that people have to it. It makes them want to reach out, reconnect with friends. The key message about friendship and the bonds of friendship are there and I think that's what everyone is really connecting to. And that's the best part of the book and, and of what it's doing for people and their friends. The book was published in April of 2009 and um, it has remained on the New York Times bestsellers list since that time as a a um, nonfiction book. I'm originally from Iowa. I went to high school in Ames, Iowa and had 10 very good friends. Although we live in eight different states now um, and have for most of our lives after high school, we've remained very close. Our friendship is the basis of a book called The Girls from Ames and it was written by Jeff Zaslow who also co-wrote the last lecture. And um, he's a Wall Street Journal columnist that did a column on women's friendship years ago. Um, a good friend of mine, Jenny, who's in the book as well, um, she wrote him and after she read his column and told him about her friends. Um, and three years later, after he got many emails and letters about that column, he said, I'm going to write a book. And one thing led to another, and we became the topic of that book. But this coincided with my cancer treatments, and it's been something that's been very surreal, but very fun. Um, it's allowed us to get together. We got together for the launch of the book in Ames, Iowa. And um, I think it's really, it's been a nice diversion from everything else. I have inflammatory breast cancer and it's the same kind of cancer that my mom had. I found um, what I believe was an inflamed lymph node um, because a lot of times uh, inflammatory it's not a lump that you find. It doesn't show up on mammograms. Um, a lot of times it be can become, um, your breast can become inflamed, red, itchy. Um, there's different symptoms. I was diagnosed during um, Cancer Awareness Month, Breast Cancer Awareness Month in October of 2008. And ironically, two weeks before I was diagnosed, I went to a women's business luncheon and Dr. Lisa Carey and Dr. Eric Halverson were the speakers at this luncheon. And they talked about research and new treatments for cancer and new ways um, to do reconstructive surgery. And I really believe that they prepared me for what I was about to face, even though I didn't know it at the time. My friends reacted to the news of my cancer diagnosis with shock, but my other friend Kelly, who's part of our group, also was diagnosed with cancer about a year and a half before my diagnosis. So the statistics about breast cancer were living out among our group. My friends have played a very important role for me through their support and uh, listening, calling, checking in, um, all those things that really make a difference. Friends can really be a big help when you go through something like this. In the Girls from Ames book, Jeff Zazzle, the author, does talk about some of the research that's out there um, about friendship. And um, he talks about a university study that showed women who have advanced stages of breast cancer have higher survival, survivor rates when they're able to share their feelings with other people. And so I've been able to share those feelings. And uh, so the girls from Ames have been a big, big um, reason why I think I have survived this and I've gotten through it so well. Having cancer has changed me. Um, I, f I really feel more empowered. Um, I feel more calm. I'm a pretty hyper person, so being calm is something different for me. But I don't let things bother me as much. Um, I don't take things for granted. I've got a nine-year-old daughter, and I cherish every moment with her and my husband. Um, and I just realize that, you know, everything I do, it's got to be real and it's got to be what I really want to do and and what's best for everyone because you know everyone's days are limited but you realize that once you have cancer it's also made me change 
um, what I do for a living. Um, I have a public relations business, um, but I'm going to expand that and um, start, start offering some very special events for special points in people's lives. Um, memorial services for people, um, who, for their loved ones when they die, um, for returning military, um, for graduations and retirements. So I've kind of taken a different direction with my business as well. There's three bits of advice I would give anyone that was newly diagnosed. Um, number one, share the information about your cancer with friends, family, co-workers, um, because when you're open and honest about it, you'll get help. They want to help. Secondly, accept the help and the support that you're offered. Um, I'm pretty independent, pretty strong-willed, and just at first it was tough to accept that people wanted to help. And I finally said, you know, I'm going to do this. Finally, get the best care that you can. The care that I've gotten at UNC Lineberger has been exceptional. The doctors and staff were very thorough. They um, acted quickly and aggressively to treat my cancer, which is very important because this is a very aggressive form of cancer. And they were just very caring, compassionate. Um, I, I really felt like I was in good hands and they answered all my questions and just made me feel like I was their only patient. I imagined that having cancer would be the worst thing ever and actually it hasn't been. Um, I've grown as a person, I've seen the compassion of doctors, the um, support and care that friends and family will give you and that makes you very optimistic and very hopeful and um, I really believe it's the reason I'm a survivor.